Uh, yeah, it's ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. This is part two to that video. And, uh, you know the video I was talking about. Uh, but the thing for me about Corey Wigarski and Christopher Hattori, kind of hero, and, and his little girlfriend, Nick Bullen, the thing for me is all I got to say about that is you, you guys are garbage. There's all these little kids, you, you got them under your wing thinking you're Mr. Badass. He can ride bikes so good. Corey could do this so good. Christopher K. could do this so good. Nick Bullen, I don't give a fuck. There's no letting it go. I did let it go. You the one went onto my Facebook, okay? Because everybody knows that I'm, uh, you know, I like dolls, okay? Which I would be able to show you, but there's no, you know, like I said, it's it's pretty dark. I'm gonna make a, a, another video, but um, I like dolls, okay? And Dylan, guy from the skate park, he took a picture of me kissing this doll. You know, I cleaned the doll off. I gave it. I put my own dark energy into it because I like dolls. And he put it posted on my Facebook on a picture. And under the comment, I'm kissing Sage Yellow, which is my doll, which I call a daughter. Oh, 29-year-old man playing with dolls. Well, why the fuck are motherfuckers 25 years old wearing Sesame Street characters, you know? Why are they wearing that on their clothes? I mean, Sesame Street is for children. That's hip-hop? You guys aren't hip-hop. You're garbage. You're, 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 you're garbage. All you hip-hop and thugsters, you're, you're garbage. That's all you are. You know, what gets me is Corey listens to all this stupid music, so you're just making these idiots make you look like a fucking idiot. That's my opinion, but uh, <coughs> he goes onto my Facebook, you know, with the doll and everything, my picture doll. I fucking goddamn hate Donovan. That's fine if you hate me. What I'm learning is the only reason you hate me, Corey, is because I won and you lost. I told you I was going to get you. See, I couldn't get you physically, because you everyone was bitching and crying about everything. I couldn't get you physically, but I told you I'll get you through magic the other way. I done what I had to do, and I'm not done yet. So, I mean, you want to keep digging a, a grave for yourself, that's on you, buddy. Because I, I, love, I love being a witch. And this is one of the reasons I became a witch, too. Because you could sit back and you'll watch things happen to you. And, you know, things will take care of themselves on their own. Just be patient, and that's what happened. I don't have to do it. And a lot of people are saying, well, be friends with him again. No, there's no being friends. There's no dropping it. You started this shit, bitch, and I'm going to fucking end it. Just because someone, I'm tired of hearing this, because someone is gay or bi like myself, we, we faggots as you guys call it, we've been called thanks for so long. All the people that's lesbians and, and bi's and all that, and bisexual individuals like myself, that don't mean we can't fight. It's because someone feminine don't mean they can't fight. There's a video, I don't know if people listen to this video, you heard of Jeffree Star, right? Of course. That guy had a video on YouTube where he knocked the fuck out of this guy for calling his friend N-word. And look how feminine Jeffree Star looks. He could fight. So don't just judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a dog by its bark. So the only reason I didn't get you like that, number one, I didn't want to go to jail. Number two, if you did hit me, I would hit you back. I don't care. You know, I mean, that has nothing to fucking do with it, bro. But you don't want to want to keep the ball rolling. So, Corey, you need to just stop, man. I'm telling you for your own good. You're just making it more hurtful for yourself. I still got your, your, your voodoo doll. still got your locks of hair. See, I'm not one of those people that play and dabble with magic. I'm doing it, and I fucking really mean it. I know it in my heart. I know it in my soul. I know it in my mind, and I could do it, and and it'll happen. That's the thing about being a witch. I'm none of these fucking little girls that, that watch all these shows on TV, and, oh, I'm going to break up my boyfriend, and they do a spell the wrong way, and they have guilt, and it comes back on them and their whole family. None of that. When I do a spell is for the enemy and the enemy only, and I focus on just that. So that's how I'm getting even with you. So what you need to do is Mr. Corey M. Wigurski, and you too, Nicole, Nicole Bullen, your, his little fucking boyfriend, saying he's married to him on Facebook. Check that out. He's such a man, but he's saying he's married to some little boy that lives with him. All those three punks living in a scum house in Arizona. I'm going to get you. You too, Chris. I'm going to get you. See, so guys, I'm telling you, you need to stop, bro, while you're ahead. That's what you're mad about. The enemy gets mad because they know they lost. I'm not saying no more. You're saying squash the beef, dude. Look like the beef is still going with you because I'm not saying a word. You're just mad because I'm winning. So, I'm going to tell you this, bro. I'm going to leave this on this note. I'm going to tell you. All you got to do is leave me the fuck alone. That's all I'm asking you. Get lost. Bye. Film in here. Sorry. I'm rude fucking people. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to give out so much information. I don't want to do nothing that's going to... Just some so stupid and drastic and get me banned off YouTube. Or I gave out enough information, you know, because I want to. I need to keep my account for things like vlogs and 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 other uh, other things, bike checks and stuff like that. 
But um, you know, you're just garbage, bro. That's all you are. You you're just garbage. So I'm, all I'm gonna leave you on this note, Corey Wagarski, is just just stop while you're ahead, bro. You're just digging a deep hole for yourself. That's all you're doing. I mean, wasn't the things already done to you through magic enough, or you want more to happen? Because I love being a witch. I want to leave it at this note, dude. Just leave it. Just leave it alone. Because the more you anger me, the more you keep talking all your little shit, the more I'm going to keep it up. And no, there's no big friends. You know, all these you might get all these little boys, you might get all their fancies, and you might be their heroes and stuff like that, but you're not my hero. My hero is myself. Okay? Number one. Along with any other hero or influences I got in life, but it sure as fuck isn't you. So, uh, you telling me to grow up and get a job and all this shit, why don't you get off your ass and quit mooching off daddy and, and, and go on your own? Why don't you get a fucking life? You say I'm racist? Uh, I'm racist. This is why all, I got black and white friends, since I'm so racist. If I was racist, retard, obviously, I wouldn't have black and white friends. I'm not racist. I'm just racist towards you, because you're an asshole, personally. You just can't stand it that someone's actually telling you the truth about yourself. So go cry home to daddy. Go to your little fucking little scum house in Arizona. Keep slamming your little beer. But I'm going to get you. That might be your last sip of beer. I'm going to get you. I'm going to hunt you all your life, because you quit. You quit, and I'll leave you alone. But you don't want to quit. I'm going to keep the ball rolling. So I'm going to get you. And that wraps up about that part. <coughs> but, um... Oh, this thing does play music in the background. This is awesome. I got some, uh... Manila role playing background. For people that don't know what that is, but, uh... <coughs> excuse me. This, uh, rest of this is about... This is about how hip-hop is, okay? You know, I've had it with you stupid-ass motherfuckers come to my lot, always asking me to fucking, oh, we're going to put you in a music video. Look, listen to me, listen to me, you stupid sons of bitches, okay? I hate hip-hop. I don't want to be in your video. Get the fuck out of my life. I hate hip-hop. I hated being it. That's why I got out of it. I didn't have the attitude to go along with hip-hop, but I wore the clothes. The baggy clothes, the, the fitted cap, it's stupid. It's retarded. All you stupid females, you're dumb too because you go and date these guys. They're garbage. They're garbage. They're just like any other fucking goddamn guy that's hip hop. They're thugs, they're gangsters, and they go and get you pregnant and leave your ass and wind up in jail and leave you paying for it again. I got out of hip hop. You want to know why I got out of hip hop? Because it was garbage. It was stupid. I hate it. You give me a source magazine, I whip my dick out and kiss them. I hate hip hop. A lot of people, I have this one guy to say, I ain't gonna like that, I ain't gonna do nothing too drastic and mention too many names. I already mentioned enough names on here. He goes to me, oh, well, one of the guys at the skate park, you know, where I voluntarily work at, he goes, oh, well, why'd you leave the Brotherhood? Uh, motherfucker, I didn't leave the Brotherhood, whatever the fuck that means. You know, do I have a choice not to be black? Yeah, I can go and bleach my skin or some shit, but I'm not, because this is who I am. I understand that. I know I'm black. I'm just different from everybody in my own way. That's all. Why the fuck do white guys try to be gangsters? I think that's stupid no matter what race it is. I think it's stupid, period. I don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, Asian, whatever. It's stupid. It's stupid. It ain't me. It ain't never going to be me. I'm never going back to that Donovan. That Donovan is dead and fucking gone. That's where we're going to leave. You know? I'm just tired of it. And then I get dirty looks from people now. Because I'm different. I just retarded come up here to my lot last night. Some oh, motherfucker had a piece of shit Kmart bike hat. There's no fucking gangster clothing. I like it. I guess you guys think I'm scared of you. That's the incident that occurred back in 2009 with the bike being stolen and stuff. No, I'm not afraid of you. Don't think I don't fear no man. <coughs> I really don't fear anybody. <coughs> this is my personal thing I like to say. Fear no man, for I am many. Fear no man, for I am many. Smite the other cheek and walk away. With that saying, if someone does something you so drastic, do it back to them and walk away. But never leave without a fight. If they slap you, smite them over the other cheek, slap them and walk away. But anyway, I had this restart come up here last night with a little hip-hop clothes. I had a piece of shit came up. I probably stole it from some fucking place. A little punk-ass son of a bitch. By the name of Eugene or some Eugene or whatever the fuck his name is. Come up here interrogating me, asking all kinds of dumb questions and trying to, oh, this is how you do a bunny hop. Dude, I, when you were pissing your pants and watching fucking Sesame Street, I was biking. I don't need your schooling and your two cent about how to ride a bike. I don't want a bunny hop. I'm flatland. That's what I'm going to stick to. But uh, this video is about to log off of, um, and cut me off. Uh, that's all I had to say. Uh, this is Donovan Kelly coming at your end.
Later.